Good morning, cult members, and welcome to the Pop Culture Cult. I'm Sean. I'm Janice. And this is going to be our trailer reaction for the surprise Captain America Brave New World trailer. Uh, it's a teaser trailer. Uh, uh, spoilers. I have watched this already. <laughs> and go. Wilson. President. There he is. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. Well, thank you for the invite, sir. I have to admit, I'm still getting used to the new look. They said to uh, lose the mustache or lose the election. <laughs> you and I, I haven't always agreed in the past, but I want to make another run at making Captain America an official military position. And if we disagree on how to manage a situation, then what happens? Oh, no. <laughs> Work with me, Sam. We'll show the world a better way forward. Isaiah! What are you doing? Somebody's not controlling height. Sir, your inner circle's been yeah. compromised. Either you can't see that, or you don't oh. want to. What if it's a trap? It's always Global a trap. power is shifting. You're just a pawn. True. You may be Captain America, but you're not Steve Rogers. Oh, what a dick! <laughs> you're right. I'm not. <laughs> oh, he wants supersonic. <laughs> Nice. Uh, <laughs> that was. We a got Red Hulk. Red okay. Hulk. Wow. So uh, much. Uh, okay. Time. This is coming out in February. Yeah. So six. It's July. Yeah. August, July, okay. Well, we'll call it half of July. <laughs> so August, September. October, November, December, January, yeah. February. It's halfway through. So we're seven months out. Yeah. It's, I feel like a little early, especially since we know what's coming in at the end of July. Yeah, except I, uh, with it's ketchup, ketchup and mustard, by the way. <laughs> it's possible. I mean, first of all, they can be riding that wave. Yep. Um, you know, oh, hey, remember Marvel's still here and it's been a minute. So, you know, like they have had some time to work on this. I mean, I feel like I don't know how much Marvel had to do with the, with the, with Deadpool. Like, were they a hundred percent? It was all Marvel. Yes. They, okay. are, they were, um, I have been told. By reliable sources on the internet, <laughs> that there was multiple scripts submitted by Sean Levy and Ryan Reynolds to Marvel, and Marvel said, "This is where we want to go." Yes okay. to this, no to this. Yes okay, to this. I just didn't know yes. about the timing, like if it had been started or you know done by Sony, right? Was Sony? No, no, no. Uh, Fox. Fox, and then uh, Marvel came in and cleaned it up um but you know that they've got like i said they're they're gonna ride the the high of deadpool and yeah and they've got this much at least done in yeah. post-production and it still gives them i would say five five and a half months of post-production because then you want to yeah. you want to be pretty much done so you can start doing um uh not previews, um, mm. the openings, you know, yeah, where they, the, like they're the, doing with Deadpool. Where yeah, yeah, going. yeah. The, the Deadpool world tour right now is yeah. just amazing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, welcome to the Deadpool trailer reaction, apparently. <laughs> uh, but it's it's important to bring this up because there has been a pause by yeah. Marvel yeah. Um, to reorganize. And one of the pauses was this. This was going to be a show. And they did a big, big rewrite um, and then uh, they started filming for the movie, and then they did another rewrite. So there has been some course correction 
for what the mar- what the MCU, what Kevin Feige wants to do with the overall story going forward. Yeah, and that's um, I think a good thing, right? I agree. They're not um, to bring Sony back. They're not Sony. They're not Warner Brothers, where it's like I'm putting my flag in the ground and we're just going to keep going forward, yeah. even though nobody likes what we're doing. <laughs> yeah, 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 absolutely. You know, and so they they went okay. People are a little tired. People aren't happy with, you know, a couple of the shows that came out. And so, yeah, we got Red Hulk. Uh, I love that they kind of um, did a little joke about the president because... I, I'm glad you went there because that was where I was going next. The the they, I've done this in the MCU before when they took Ty- Terrence Howard out and put in Don Cheadle. Right. And in that scene, Don Cheadle's... Um, ver, um, uh, he sits. He just sit there and said, "I'm here. It, it's what it is. Deal with it. Let's go." Yeah. And they just they, like they, they addressed it, but didn't linger over it. Right. And the I the, and them just taking the shot of, "Yeah, I shaved shave my mustache. Of course, I look a little different." Yeah. You look like Harrison <laughs> Ford. You're yeah. Indiana Jones. <laughs> Indiana Jones is now the president of the United States. Yeah. Like, of course yeah. it is. Yeah. But I love that they are. In the trailer, in the beginning of the trailer, that's been one of the number one questions that people have been having since we lost yeah. William Hurt, yeah. and they're telling the story of President Ross. Like, what is – what are they going to do? You bring in Harrison Ford. Right. Well, and we've known that Harrison Ford was going to be the president, but the question was, uh, you know, how how are they going to make that transition? Yeah. Or is, like, um, the previous president, um, William Hurt's character – going to you know be impeached or lose an election or yeah or what and yeah. um i can understand how a lot of those subjects might be a little touchy, a right, little now. touchy so right now so yeah let's just yeah. and and you know a lot of times like tv shows and movies and whatever i mean probably not so much movies because there aren't these big long interconnecting movies like yeah, there yeah, are yeah. for marvel but definitely in tv shows where the character just changes completely you know it's a new actor and yeah. nobody says anything nobody addresses it yeah yeah and they <laughs> i love that they addressed it yeah I, like I, of course they addressed it they have to because marvel fans would have been all over them if they didn't say anything about it and and they and for me this gives me um some uh um like positive energy yeah that they are not afraid to step away to, to point this out and the other question that we all have been getting is, if we're getting Ross as president, that means we're getting Red Hulk. Are we getting Red Hulk? <laughs> oh my God, Red Hulk's in the trailer. There you go. And so, like, like, pr- brilliant, brilliant on uh, Kevin Feige, MCU, uh, Diagostino, like everybody around uh, Marvel taking the pause and then taking what the fans have talked about, not necessarily making the fans... Uh, uh, absolutely ha- happy because that's never going to be a thing. Right. But ha- taking a pause, figuring out what they want to do, addressed it in the first trailer. Yeah. Yeah. And they then did, they did a lot of that stuff yeah. in this trailer. They yeah. showed Giancarlo's character because he kind of spilled the beans at, at the, Archon. At we Archon. were in the room. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yep, here he is. And, you know, the, 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 and the president and Red Hulk and. Uh, so I didn't see um, uh, the um, White Wolf. Uh, oh, Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier. There yeah. You go. I didn't see him. Yeah. I I wonder if uh, I wonder if he does like a cameo somewhere in this. Yeah, because they were kind of. I wonder if uh, uh, this is one of those things that uh, I actually you know what? I'm not going to bring that up because I don't want I don't want to have that conversation. Uh, but. Isaiah Bradley, yeah, and Isaiah Bradley in it, was in there, and him attacking the president. Now Isaiah has had his own issues with the U.S. government, yeah, and um, and so I I wonder if that's the angle they're going, or if somebody is doing something to Isaiah where he has to do this kind of like right. like he's, he's attacking, he's doing it. Because he, uh, somebody he loves is being held captive, or he's, you know, or they programmed him, right? Because he got yeah, the original true. super soldier. Well, not the original, but the Vietnam super soldier yeah. serum. Yeah. Um, and you know, they did it 
to Bucky, they could have done it to him. God, unless that's... he's got, they've got his grandson, the kid that yeah, was in grandson, the show. Yeah, grandson, who will be um, a patriot in what will be the Young Avengers when we get there. Okay. They kind of already kind of teased with uh, Miss Marvel and Kate yeah, Bishop yeah, kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Interesting thought. Uh, we won't get Zemo, at least from this trailer, we won't get Zemo in this. What if there's a super deep sleeper cell of Hydra, and that's how they bring Hydra back? Because Hydra is a big deal in Captain America series that keeps getting eliminated. They're like the Daleks. They never really die. Right. <laughs> there's always a random Dalek somewhere in the, in the, in the universe, in the timetable. Uh, I wonder if they bring uh, uh, Hydra back and and they have the Winter Soldier kind of mind control on Isaiah Bradley. Yeah. It's a wild speculation. Yeah. But I or it love... Could be, I mean, it could be anybody it that could, has the it, Right. Mind but I that. loved Isaiah's story in Falcon and Winter Soldier. I loved his story. And so I really want to see, um, especially like his redemption arc that he got yeah. by having the display in the Captain America wing at the museum. Yep. And so him attacking the president really bothers me on it, an emotional level, uh, but I think it's a great storytelling ex- idea. Except that, l- as you say that, that that makes me think now he is um, exposed, for lack of a better wor- word, to the world. Now yeah. everybody knows who he is and that he he is was a super soldier. You know, all you gotta do is go to the exhibit yeah. and you see him, yeah. which opens him up to yeah. potentially being targeted by not by nefarious individuals right right or groups we've talked about everybody but sam in this trailer <laughs> uh, right. uh best for last uh he his arc in falcon and Winter soldier uh we've watched it three times now and the first time we watched it we were like oh okay we it, it was right at the beginning of the pandemic they had changed the storyline through there about a worldwide plague it yeah. was the right decision at the time yeah that series when we first initially watched it um didn't hit with us as much as WandaVision did. Right. Uh, but and a, and a lot of that was the obvious um, pa- pulling out of the pandemic storyline and yep. it not quite meshing right. Yep, yep. But upon further rewatches of that series, uh, that is a great story. It's a great story. And I love the friendship between uh, Sam and Bucky. Um Two friends. Frenemies? Fr- two friends whose best friend is the same person. And then they end up having to be friends. Right. Um, I love the Zemo part. I love Sam's whole, like, coming to terms with being a black man and being Captain America in America. I love that story arc. So having him be already pushed by Ross, who we all know is a douchebag anyways... Because of what he did, because of the Sokovia Accords and all that kind of stuff. But him pushing his own agenda onto Sam and Sam standing up against that is a very Steve Rogers thing to say, to do. And then him saying, you're not Steve Rogers, and Sam accepting it. That's a huge thing. If you did not watch Falcon and Winter Soldier, that's a huge part of that story arc. Yeah. is him coming to the realization that he is not Steve Rogers. Right. He is Sam Wilson. Right. And and so him saying, no, I'm not, and then we get Falcon, Ca- Captain Falcon, shot, Captain American Falcon, <laughs> sir, <laughs> and him going supersonic is just, like, awesome. Yeah. Um, but that, that whole thing, I think, is going to be a crux of the ultimate story. I went on this redemption arc for myself, not that I need to be redeemed for my actions, for my um, my my um, self-questioning of who I am and if I own, if I really deserve this title and what that title means and now having other government officials coming in and trying to take over that name. They already trying to do that with US agent. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's a, it's an extension of the show, right? Yeah. First, and he, I, he did it. He came to grips with himself and now he's got to show everybody else. Yep. And I, I really really want to see Sam give it to Ross. The problem is Ross has been trying since the Incredible Hulk with Edward Norton to get the Hulk serum. 
the super soldier serum that that banner was working on and that's how we get to red hulk and so if he gets becomes red hulk that's him catching the shield and throwing it into the ground right and sand does not have the serum right so that's going to be a very interesting overall arc or whatever uh torres was in the in, in the trailer he will be the other falcon in this series he was the military guy who helped um, right. Sam out in the in the right. show, so I think there's a ton of stuff in here. I'm waiting for re- new rock stars to drop their trailer reaction and and break down. But let us know what you thought of this trailer. Apparently, we're very excited. <laughs> we At least one of us is. <laughs> you had a bunch to say about this com- this trailer too. Uh, like this video, subscribe to the channel. It's free. It helps us out. It means it's nothing to just hit a button. Uh, and like. Thus, uh, follow us on all the social media stuff, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Links in the description down below. And until next time, cult members, good afternoon, good evening, and good night now.